بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما now the main thing we need to understand here is whenever you are trying to peer with loop backs make sure that those loop backs are reachable because the loop backs are not directly connected so which means in order to provide the reachability those loop backs need to be advertised in any one of the igp routing protocols in our example we did that in our bgp sorry in our ospf so based on that if you try to verify we do have reachability between this one so which means as per my configuration seems to be correct up to now i should expect the neighborship right now i can see still there is no neighborship established and as per my configurations are correct means the neighbor statements are configured on both the sides the as number is configured correctly the ip address is configured correctly and also the loop backs are reachable we have seen all these things so all these things are properly configured but still the neighborship is not coming up means there is one more problem now the other problem is the problem with the source address now problem with the source address means now in this example if you if you just try to see here in this example let's say this is my topology let's say in this topology now the router 1 let's say in this example the router 1 is going to send out an open send message and it's going to say that hello router 1 i am 1.1.1.2 because by default when the router 1 is sending the packet towards this interface what will be the source address so the source address always will be exit interface right so if i am sending any packet from the router 1 this will be the source address if it is going on this side and if it is going on this side this will be the source address right so what will be the source address of the router always it will be the exit interface so now the router 1 is going to send out an open send message to router 2 and it says that hello router 2 i am 1.1.1.2 and i am the neighbor of 12.001 which means that is you so that is a kind of open send message now the router to what it will do is it will say okay you are my neighbor let me check so the router to simply goes and check the neighbor statements same thing we can check here if i say show ip bgp summary you can also see here now if you try to see the router 2 is forming the neighborship with 11 13 and 14 right these are the neighbors which are configured on the router 2 now the router 2 simply says what is the source address it simply says who are you because the router 2 could not identify 1.1.1.2 in a neighbor statement because what what is the configuration normally so you must have a neighbor command on the router 1 as well as you must have a neighbor command on the router 2 for both then only the neighborship will form so in my case the neighborship is not forming because of the source address what is the source address by default the source address of your packet or the bgp messages always will be exit interface by default but do you think we are using exit interface here but here we are not forming the neighborship with exit interfaces in the previous lab it was okay because in the previous lab we are forming the neighborship with these interfaces so it's it's working fine but in this example we are not using the exit interface actually we are using the loop back interfaces loop back zeros we are using zeros here it can be one it can be two whatever you use which means when i am sending an open send message i should not say that i am 1.1.1.2 i should say i am 
because the router one is identified with its loop back zero, not with its exit interface. So which means the source address has to be source address of the BGP packets. When it is sent to the neighbor, it has to be loop back zero, not the exit interface. And that's the reason the neighborship is not forming. So which means what I have to do is I need to go to router one. If you remember, we already did some configuration commands. If you just quickly summarize the configuration commands, what we did. So these are the commands, what we have configured on the router one. So what I'll be doing is So what I'll do is I'll quickly replace, I'll add one more command here. I just need to add one more command. And that command is going to be neighbor. When you're appearing with 12, you just need to tell update source loop back zero. So this is the command. And the same command we have to give for router three and router four, 13, as well as 14. Now, once I add this command, now what happens is now when the BGP sends an open send message, now this time the router one says, sends an open send message. It says I'm 11.001 because that is my source address. What is my source address? So when you go and contact router two, when you send an open send message to router two, change your source address to the loopback zero address, which means what is my loopback zero address? 11.001. So which means when you go and talk to router 2 or 12.001 or 13.001 or 14.001, you just change your source address. Remember, I'm using zero here. You, you can still use loopback one, two, three, any other loopback also that works. But again, the best practice, we always go with zero. That's something I recommend. So which means now I need to add for every neighbor, I should say, uh, update source already remote ace is there update source loop back zero i should add this for 13 as well i should add this for 14 also now same thing i have to do on all the routers okay so the same problems in all the routers so we have to add update source loop back zero for 11 and then 13 so on the router 2 we have to add for 13 and what is other 14 and the same thing I need to add for router BGP 500 neighbor. So remote is already given update source command. So 12 and then 14. And likewise on the router four also, I'll, I'll quickly go and configure neighbor. A remote is already given. So just I need to add one additional command, update source. So 11, 12, 13, these are my three neighbors on the router four. So the main issue here is, if you try to see, uh, by default, when the packet is being sent, the default source address will be always exit interface, which means when the router one is sending a packet from this interface, the source address will be this. But the routers are not recognizing each other based on the exit interfaces. They're actually trying to form the neighborship with each other based on the loopbacks. So what I need to do is I need to tell my router one, hello router one, don't tell that I'm this address. So you have to change this source address to 11.001, that is my loopback zero. So you have to change that. And for that, we need to add the command called update source loopback zero. And that's what we are trying to do here. So now if I go and verify the neighborship, you can see the neighborship is up. If I say show IP PGP summary, you can see the neighborship is up and I'm getting the routes. Similar way, I'll try to verify on some other routers, the neighborship is up. So always remember uh, two things. The, the, the main thing what we do is whenever you you try to establish the neighbor relationship between the loopbacks. Uh, why we do that? Because to provide the redundancy. Let's take the redundancy also. 
So what I'll do is I'll try to shut down this link, assuming that link goes down. So what I'll do is I'll shut down this link, S1 by zero, assuming that link fails, and I'll clear the BGP for a quick uh, BGP. It will clear the neighborship and neighborship will come up again. And you can see the neighborship comes up, even though that interface is down. You can see all the neighbors comes up because still I'm reachable to that neighbor. And as long as I have reachability to that neighbor, the neighborship will be up. So the main advantage of peering with loopback to loopback is it provides you the redundancy, which is the best practice you always follow. But again, there are a couple of things we also need to keep in mind when you form the neighborship with loopbacks. So make sure that the loopbacks are reachable. So make sure that you advertise that loopback inside any IGP protocol which you are using. And make sure that you also change the source address, which will be the default exit interface. We have to change that to the loopback interface, whatever you are using. So these are the couple of things we need to keep in mind whenever you are trying to form the neighborship with loopbacks.